Anyway, hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon, which is more going to be a story series based on um, some things that I've done. Or not things that I've done, but rather people that I've met. And um, you're, you're going to notice that I'm going to be talking about people from my past or people that I happen to know or stuff like that. But there's a main thing I wanted to talk about, and the thing is, I dedicating a whole podcast episode to him would be almost a waste. Because I got a couple of stories, and I guess I'll just pepper in, like, pro proper gameplay with this, too. But, um, we're gonna call this, um... This will... Mm. We'll just keep going with the fox den motif, and of course, we'll do that. Now, we, there, actually, no, that, that's, that's what I'm looking for, okay. Oof. So today, I want to tell you about somebody that I know, personally, and not to name drop, because I don't want to actually have any repercussions happen to this person. Because, like, I just don't want that. That's a lot of busy work for me. And it's not in... That's not my intent. It's just a crazy person that I currently know. And hopefully they won't watch this. But they probably won't. Or give a damn. <sighs> now... Let's talk a little bit about John Smith. Now, John Smith is a very fucking crazy person. Okay, so I guess... Oh no, can I turn off tutorials? Hold on. Oh, first, let's fucking do this. Um, Tutorials. Disable tutorials. Yeah, no, I don't want any tutorials. I'm not a tutorial bitch. <laughs> um, okay, so. John Smith, the beginning. Now, I didn't know much about John Smith when I first met him. He came into a server that I like to go on, you know. And so, I first heard stories about him actually hold on before I go any further let me just I'm gonna pause the episode real quick I and you know what never mind fuck it I'll talk about it later if, if this doesn't um, if this is not okay then you just won't see the episode but anyway um John Smith was a very very interesting character to run into in my life. Um, he was fucking crazy. Oh, haha, achievement unlocked. Fuck you. Um. Okay. Oh, oh man, none of the. Okay, this is this is pretty good. Okay, so this is really good, but I can't. Mmm. Mmm. All these are really good. So, I'm gonna go with... We're gonna make the first game on the PC. Because why not? Um, text-based... Or 2D graphics... This has gotta be a 2D graphics game. It's gotta be. So, John Smith, the beginning. Now, John Smith, um... Was a person that when I met them, oh, it's got to be gameplay, but no, the rich story and quests are important as well. So let's just, um, we don't need much engine in these early games, so yeah. Um, but John Smith was crazy because when I first met them, they were just like, when I first heard stories about them. It was like, okay, 
we're gonna like my friend pulled me aside and was like dude okay this is the guy um this is a guy that we haven't that we we know about and his thing is he's fucking he is a walking fallacy <laughs> a walking fallacy is very um level design is not that big um dialogue is an artificial intelligence so i imagine for a romance game would be very good but um oh 2d graphics basic sound um do we need basic sound or nah, yeah i would say so graphics um i would say that sound and eh. do we even need sound really no i don't know but um so the first thing that we end up talking about with him is um how how and I hate to be this guy that brings this kind of shit into the channel because of this person, but I want to anyways because oh my god, it's fucking insane some of the things that was um that has been said to me. So one of the things that we ended up talking about right away was how He, he, he's weirdly backwards in every sense, and he flip-flops these things, too. So, he comes in and starts trying to talk people into buying him a game or something. I don't even remember what it was, but he's trying to ask everybody, hey, or no, it wasn't to buy a game. It was for money for a specific purpose that he wouldn't label off right away. And we were all questioning why he wanted it. And I was really confused as well because I had never met this person. So I'm just kind of sitting there and watching it all go down. And over time, so people are just like, no, John, we will not give you money. No, John. Hey, look, his game su is a success. Um, that that's a nice start. Um, the the way that he was acting, you know, it, it was weird. And after nobody like like was willing to give him money for his purpose he then starts to freak the fuck out for no reason besides the fact that he wasn't getting money for his purpose i then get later told what the purpose was and that's a whole other video in itself which is amazing i can't believe it fucking happened because oh my god it's fucking hilarious but it, it you need to hear the full story when it um comes out so I'm talking with this guy in this group for a while, and then he st he just leaves. And so I kind of ask like, "What's the story behind this person?" Because they're fucking crazy. And just to give you a little perception on how fucking crazy this guy is, um, he once took a rusty syringe from behind the hospital and injected orange juice into his toe <laughs> just just for the fun of it I don't know I, I I can hear the shock and bewilderment in your in your stares and in your gazes right now viewers I know it's fucking crazy this person is ridiculous I don't get it either oh we should probably develop another game um Um, we're, we're changing the name to John with an H, because, yeah. Um. Yeah. The sequel. Now with more orange juice. Um, <laughs> so, he, in turn, um, decides, hey, 
I'm gonna, you know, become, or he, he doesn't want to become anything, but he's very clear in his motives, which is, um, well, two major motives seem to be a play at the moment, which is, when I met him, it was to have fun, and also to... And this is his own words. This is not me. Oh, it, see, now it's got to be a romance like simulation because before it was what was it? It was like a romance platformer or something. He's gotten to his own, to his significant other. But now we have to simulate the intense, naughty things that are gonna happen to this person. And it's gonna be a hmm. Text space will be cheaper, but 2D graphics, dude. Why not? Um, <laughs> we gotta go all gameplay and all engine this time. No story, no quest, because the story has already been done in the last game. So it's all it's it is finished. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, but PCs are better, so fuck you. Um. So, going ahead a little bit. Um, we're not going ahead. Finishing what I was stating. So, when I first started talking to this person, he immediately goes into this thing about how his main goal is to have fun but also to protect the women's. You you can tell how this guy thinks at this point, like in the story. It's not hard to figure out. Um, AI. Well, eh, eh. I mean, the there's only one level, right? So whatever. But yeah, so this guy is just off the rails all the time. And he he says shit that I would never even think of saying because I don't know, he just doesn't really think all that much. Like if I'm being one hundred percent honest, he does not think about what he says. He just does. Um, so I'm gonna cut this video off here and I'll see you in the next one where I talk about what the money would eventually be turned into. And I'll actually fact check that a little bit more. Because I wasn't in the complete no of the situation either right away. I kind of heard about it after it sort of began transpiring. So I was like, wait, what? But yeah. Um, I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.